ABU has the ability to poke the bear in a way that nobody else can. Board member of Alliance for a Better Utah says lawmakers rushed the bill through at the last minute. Alliance for Better Utah. When we do a lot with a little. We're creative. We're always trying to think outside of the box. There's a growing population in Utah that wants progressive change, who wants more balance, transparency, and accountability in government, and we're out there representing those people. We've been joined by representatives from Alliance for a Better Utah. It's often referred to in the, in the press as a liberal organization, but it represents the values of Utah voters. Why? We had one woman who walked out saying, I walked in with an open mind and I left with a lawn sign. Without transparency and without accountability, there is no democracy. Outside the room, they were talking about the governor's recent caught on tape remarks. I'm just saying I'm available. I'm available, Jones. The fact that Governor Herbert was so cavalier about it, it confirms that. Through the insidious use of money, government policy is more and more and more directed by big corporate and other concentrated sources of wealth. West Jordan Councilman Jeff Haga claims to be above the law. No, I'm not councilman. If that is where he's coming from, then he needs to be removed. Rachel Sanders with Alliance for Better Utah says Haga should resign. Or when James Evans goes on national television. Bill Clinton's uh, illegitimate son and asks Hillary Clinton if she will no, no, take no, no, no. Oh, come on. Oh. And brings up, you know, issues that have that are rumor and have been settled in the middle of a presidential campaign. ABU's role in those instances is to hold those elected officials accountable. ABU was one of the ones saying forcefully, this plan is a bad deal for Utah, it leaves thousands uninsured, it's gonna cost us tons of money. We wanted to remind Jim Dunnigan's constituents that Jim had worked very hard to deny health care coverage to many uninsured children here in the state of Utah, that he's worked very hard to deny full Medicaid expansion here in the state. Karina Brown spoke about her mother who died at the age of 64. And she was too young for Medicare and didn't qualify for Medicaid. But died in the so-called coverage gap. We decided to go and give them a gentle reminder for why they should, and so we delivered our still waiting shirts to the House and Senate leadership. For the House of Representatives, I was able to see them hand delivering the shirts out on the floor and snap pictures of Representative Dunnigan receiving his shirt and as he was realizing exactly what it was, toss it away in disgust. We photoshopped Trump's rather singular hairstyle onto various candidates for office. So that was a way of kind of calling attention to the fact that these guys are covering the same way. Ever since the proposal was first made in Utah to invest in this deep water terminal, the Alliance for Better Utah has been an outspoken critic of the entire deal. The $53 million loan would help a private developer in California build a port facility to ship coal. That kind of a legislative maneuver ought to be offensive to every Utah. And we were the voice uh, representing Utahns in California saying that there were a majority of Utahns who did not want this coal port to go through. And so in education funding, there are a number of people who are obviously talking about our position as the 51st in the country in education funding per pupil. And for ABU, we can look at it and say, well, look, there's this interesting trend about suing states over the adequacy of funding. Our education lawsuit was something that we kind of hung over their heads last legislative session and, and hopefully will have some impact as well. And I think we'll continue to look at creative solutions for increasing our education dollars. And we thought that there was an opportunity to present the public with a series of debates that are more at either the municipal level, the school board level, or the state legislative level. We have a state that is predominantly Mormon, and we've got a state that's predominantly Republican, and those two are not the same things. To bring people together and remember that there's so many values that we share, and that both parties can represent people of faith and can represent the values that we all call Utah values. We can be that voice in the press that others can't, and not just in the press, but online and person to person. You know, one of the reasons I, I think that I find ABU so important in town is, is that whether it's education funding or redistricting, there's no issue that's too big or too small for ABU to take on. Alliance for Better Utah is continually assessing the landscape and attempting to ensure that government is operating as it should. And when it doesn't, the Alliance for Better Utah does not remain silent.